Today I'm going to make a dessert. Um, it's based on the classic Kranachin. We're going to do a sort of modern twist with it and do it sort of similar to a, a panna cotta, which is a classic Italian dessert. The ingredients in it is cream, whiskey, honey, oatmeal, a little bit of vanilla, and some local berries. What's great about this dessert is it's simple, it looks great, tastes great. It's pretty much what Scotland's all about, you know, it's, you know, simple, good food using local ingredients. It's a cream dessert and it's going to be set with gelatine. Now here we've got some leaf gelatine, which comes in in a, in a solid state like that. What we need to do is soften it. To soften it, we simply add some cold water, just enough to cover it over. And we just allow that to soak into that. A couple of minutes, that's all it takes. Okay, for the Kranachin cream, which is the main part of the dessert, we've got 450 mils of double cream. We're going to infuse this with some vanilla. So we've got a fresh vanilla pod. And to get the maximum flavour out of it, we split the vanilla pod. So just with a sharp knife, run through the centre, and just with the back of your knife, simply scrape out the seeds. So we put the seeds in, and also the vanilla as well, just to get maximum flavour into the cream. Caster sugar, 50 grams. Now we just need about two tablespoons of the honey. Again, this is optional for the flavour. You can add more or less, just to whatever taste you, you like. If you like more honey, then simply add more of it. So once all these ingredients have been added, it's just a case of bringing it through the boil on the stove, just stirring so it doesn't catch in the bottom of the pan. So the cream's brought to the boil. It's just a case of adding the gelatine into it. So you can see the gelatine now is softened up with the cold water. Simply squeeze any excess moisture out, and drop it into the hot cream. So mix it in, so the gelatine's thoroughly mixed in, and we then need to strain it. So using a fine, fine sieve, pour the cream in. It just, just makes the overall dish a lot smoother and there's not any little bits of the vanilla pod going through the cream. Now at this point, before we're placing the moulds, we have to set it to almost the point of setting before we add the oatmeal in. So we'll place it over some ice and we'll just stir that to almost the point of setting. Now the reason that we do this is because if we put the oatmeal in and it's still warm, it'll just all sink to the bottom of the mould. You want the oatmeal to just speckle through evenly through the cream. And it'll take approximately about 10 minutes or so for that to happen. In the meantime, I have some oatmeal. I'm just going to simply toast it. I'll give a nice flavour to it. And also just make sure there's not any of that raw oatmeal taste in the finished dish. So, on a tray, I'll simply place it under the grill for about two minutes. After about a couple of minutes, the oatmeal's nice and toasted. Now the cream's now chilled and it's at a point of near setting. And then it's just a case of adding a couple of tablespoons into the cream. So mix that in. And then finally, we have the drum beauty. And again, it's just up to your own preference how much you want. A couple of tablespoons is probably enough. So now we've got the moulds in the fridge here. Just so they're nice and cold, so it just helps set the dessert a lot quicker. Take the cream now, place it in a jug, and we'll simply pour it into the moulds. So we'll just place these in the fridge now, and allow them to chill. Probably takes about two to three hours just to get them nice and set. So to accompany the cream, we're going to make a raspberry sauce. Now, I have some raspberries here that I've actually frozen. I find that the sauce will be a lot smoother um, doing them from frozen opposed to doing them from their fresh state. So in the pot, 200 grams of raspberries, 50 grams of caster sugar, and we need a little bit of acidity in it. So a little squeeze of lemon. A little bit of the juice, probably about half of a lemon's more than enough. And then we just need to put that on the stove 
and just allow that to boil down to a sauce. So the raspberries have been cooking for about two to three minutes and simply all we need to do to remove all the seeds is pass it through a sieve and get a nice smooth sauce. To accompany it, what we're going to do is make a little honeycomb twill. So I've made my own homemade honeycomb. You can buy this in the shops. It's just like a puff candy. It'll work exactly the same way. What we're going to do though, rather than just serve it in that form, we're going to get chefy with it. So we'll take the honeycomb, put it in the food processor, whiz it to a fine crumb. So once it's nice and fine like that, we just need to sieve it onto the mat. Then we simply bake this for two minutes at 180 degrees till it's all melted and golden brown. So the honeycomb now is all sort of melted together and it almost sort of goes like glass. Place the mat on the cold table and just allow it to cool down. So as it's sat about a minute, it's just a case of peeling off the mat. So if we just drag it off the side of the table slowly, it will just peel off, nice and careful. Try and get it in one piece. Take it off the mat as best you can. It doesn't matter if it breaks, because we are just going to break it into shards. Get that sort of glass look, which looks great, and also it tastes great, and also gives, more importantly, texture to the dish. So now we've got all these components of the dish together, it's just a case of plating up. So take the creams out the fridge that you can see now have set. Now the best way to get these out is by giving them a little heat. Now at home you could simply put them in some hot water, just for a 20 seconds or so, or you can use a blowtorch. Give the mould a little heat. Just to demould it. Place it in the centre of a plate. Now it's not it's right, so it's got that sort of wibble wobble. That's what you want to see. Now we're just going to garnish it up with some berries. And the berries we're just going to take three or four raspberries, a few strawberries. Now these are local berries from an Arbroath farm. Cut them in half. Same as strawberries, we'll just remove the husks. Again, cut in half. And we'll just arrange a few on the plate. See, that'll be enough. Now we'll have a raspberry sauce that we made. And we'll just drizzle some of the sauce. You've got that nice sort of tartness and add it to the dish. Take one of our little honeycomb, place that aside the, the cream. We've got some mint here, which goes great with the berries, and we're just going to finely shred it up, as fine as you can. And we'll just sprinkle some of the mint on the berries. Just to finish off, I've got a little chefy garnish, which is a vanilla pod, which has been dipped in a sugar syrup and dried out in the oven for about 10 minutes. And it just finishes it off. So there we'll have the finished dish, which is a Kranich and cream with local berries, raspberry sauce, garnished with our honeycomb twill and our dried vanilla. <laughs>